this has become a bit of familiar territory. I've been, I'm the patron of the, uh, the Blues Festival here, and you see me pop up each year introducing blues acts. Now, it's not blues that we have for you tonight. It's a very distinctive music of great integrity, style and class. And it's an incredibly enduring music. I want to take you back to a time that was a bit of a, in many ways for music, lost years. And it was those years between the original rock and roll boom and then the arrival later on in the 60s of you know, the Beatle era bands and the Easy Beats and all that. And it was a strange, nebulous time, those are the, in the early 60s. And only a few acts really, really cut through the ether. Only a few left us with a, with a music that's absolutely indelible. Like I said, a music of integrity and passion. Now, you know, in Japan, they have this system where people who have contributed meaningfully are dubbed national living treasures. Well, there's a case to be made that we're about to see on this stage an array of national living treasures. People who have been making music, well, certainly the, the entity has been making music in this country for 50 years, a half a century. Just actually consider that for a moment. I mean, we had, this group was around 61, 60, 62, 63. <laughs> And it was, and like I said, it was a part, it, and they start, I suppose they stood out so incredibly well because it wasn't a matter of sort of, you know, a crooning singer with winsome glances to the girls in the audience. These were serious guys who stood up and they played, and they played incredibly well and powerfully. And like I said, they play it as if they meant it. And that is probably why the music they play has endured so well. Who might have been at the 2002 Long Way to the, Long Way to the Top Tour? A few of you in the audience. Well, you would, have got, you, would have, you would have got the audience. An incredible array of music, but one of the absolute highlights was when these guys came out and for their two and a half minutes unleashed the greatest Australian instrumental of all time. A song that was written in Coogee, a song that was all about, I suppose, their lifestyle and the lifestyle of people who lived in beach areas. It was the most extraordinary track that even had an impact in Southern California, the home of surf, of surf music. Yes, it was surf music, but it was also, I suppose, you know, just beautifully constructed, clean, precise, ringing, zinging, soaring rock music and some of the best rock that's been made in this in this country. Now tonight we have on stage Jim Scarethetis, and I do hope I got the pronunciation right there. Thank you. Um, one of Australia's finest guitarists and has been over those years, those decades. And um, working with him are people who have come into the Atlantics over different uh, points in time. Um, Martin Celia. Celia? Got, yes, got that right. Second guitar. And we have a man who has been well, won over from the, um, let's see, the um, rock, rock journalism, which means that they are guaranteed good reviews. Michael Smith from the Drum Media actually is the bass player. And on drums, Jeff Cripps. And um, they form a, sort of a bit of a coalition, you might say, Atlantics. Original and those who have, like I said, who have come along over the years. Now, by the way, I need to mention before we bring them to the stage, there's a brand new Atlantics album. It's called Collectibles. It's all in all JB Hi-Fi stores, but it's also here tonight. And after they have performed, I'm led to believe they will be up there signing it and uh, yeah, scribbling on as many copies as you can possibly purchase. And for you to actually leave without buying one would be, I, I think, an appalling oversight. So what I want you to do now is to bring your hands together to create a percussive sound, which I think you will know is called clapping. I want you to storm and scream and yell and bring to the stage with as much energy and enthusiasm as you possibly can. One of the finest Australian rock bands ever. A band that really does loom large in all our consciousness. I think it's a, we have an honour to see them tonight. So please welcome to the stage the absolutely incomparable at 